Now joining us in studio this evening is well-known producer and cookbook author, Marinda Ingelbrecht. From publishing two cookbooks so far, and producing Afrikaans Children's Theatre. She is a household name in the industry. She's here to chat about her upcoming new cookbook, or rather I should say, it's already here, baby. It is, it so we is, say, yeah. welcome home. And of course, we're also finding out how she comes up with all of her interesting experiments. Welcome to The Love. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, girl, before we get back, get to your two babies that yes. are here in The this Love. This one looks like Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> No, I love them. And of course, the new one that you just came, uh, brought to life. I want to touch base with just how it all started. How did you get your start and your love and your passion for food and theatre? Well, I grew up on a farm. And cooking is like breathing on a farm. Mm. And you know, Afrikaans women, they can cook. And my mother encouraged us to help her with the cooking. So we, we've tasted, we smelled, and... We were never allowed to tell her we don't want to taste. They take no nonsense. You taste, and if you don't like it, that's all right, but you first have to taste. We will be sitting around the table, still eating, and then she will already be planning the next meal. Oh, wow. So it is really to a spot. I think I have gravy in my veins. I don't think I have blood in my veins. So, yes, I grew up in a house where a mother cooked, and I think this, that's where I got my love for food. Love yes. for food. I love that. And right now, you are currently based and operating off the West Coast with yes. your husband, and I believe that that's where you get all of your inspiration for your blogs. I mean, tell us more about that. I stay in a beautiful little dorpy in the West Coast called Azerfontein. And when I work away and I come home and I see the sea and the white beaches, it sort of calms me and I can experiment with new recipes and embrace the old ones. But I started the blog because my children, like your age, yeah. they keep on phoning me and ask me about Mother, how do I make this? How do I make this? Yeah. And then I decided I have to write it down because I cook from the heart and the gut, you know? Mm -hmm. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. And then my poor husband had to stand right next to me and when I come with a little bit of that, he said, stop, I want to weigh it or I have to measure it. And then I wrote everything down. Mm -hmm. And then their friends started to ask for recipes. And then there was a block. I love that. Mm -hmm. and it's so interesting to see, clearly all of us kids are the same. We all just go running back to mommy's yes. goodies, mommy's go-tos, the things that just remind us of home when yes. we are now in our own new established homes. Yes. And this is also now, let's usher in these two books. I mean, you've got Miranda Sekoska, uh, so Koskas? Koskas? Did, I, did I say that correctly? Yes, you yes. Did. <laughs> and then, okay, this is a real test. And Miranda Sekinder Kombes. Yes, wonderful. See, I, I stopped taking Afrikaans at grade nine, so this was a real yeah. test for me. Okay, so but you, you have, have to read the rest as well. Met Chef Sout and Professor Pretzel. Girl, I do not want to trend for the wrong reasons <laughs> on Afternoon Express. I want to keep it to English and Zulu. But on your side, I mean, you do now have these two cookbooks, and now you also have introduced the third. Tell us all about it. Uh, uh, these two cookbooks are produced in one year. Wow. So I really worked hard last year to get them on the shelves. I'm busy with the third one, but I'm going to keep that one close to my heart. But I am a teacher, or I was a teacher, and I do a lot of educational activity books. And at this moment, I'm working on an educational activity book for Zeiss International mm. about eye care for children. So I love writing. I, it, it's like making food, you know. It, writing is also something that's creative. Yeah. And you can let your mind go and just enjoy it. Mm, another creative outlet that you're just in love with, and I have to just echo those same sentiments. I'm a thespian. Yes. I studied drama. I studied the theatre. And that's what you've done. You have produced, throughout the years, yes. many Afrikaans children theatre. Not only Afrikaans, yeah. English as well. I produce every year um, during August, mm. I do the Kipper in English, Flue in Afrikaans show. It's for children. And in three weeks, 15,000 children sure. attend the show. And we are doing it now for 20 years already. And in this 20 years, I added up 650,000 children visited the theatre. And then Doha, 
a man from Doha in Qatar, found out that I was doing this. And they also read the series because it's an international reading series. Mm. And then I went to Doha. For six times a year, I go there with my classic children's theatre like Red Riding Hood oh. and Alice in Wonderland. But now, COVID, mm. it's done. So we don't, we're not going to see you continuing to produce? Of course, of course. Okay. I hope for August we can do Keep Her again. Stunning, stunning, yes. stunning. Okay, we have to keep these conversations going because another thing, you are just such a multifaceted woman who's got so many interests and one that is very much got my uh, brain cells tingling yes. are your experiments. I mean, later on in the show, we're yeah. going to have an opportunity to test out one of your fun kitchen experiments. Yeah. But what got you just loving to try new things? Uh, because I... I'm a teacher. Yep. I just want to show children that you can have science all over the world. It can be in the kitchen, it can be in the bathroom, and it, you can do experiments with uh, stuff that is in your house. Oh. And that's why we make edible slime, we make a smarty rainbow. <laughs> so there's a lot of that, and there's a chapter in with only experiments with stuff that you have in your kitchen. Okay, so it seems as if these two books are more than just cookbooks. They're just so much more. They're educational, they're entertainment. They are. And we are giving one of our lucky viewers an opportunity to walk away with one copy of both of these books. Yes. What else can they look forward to? It's easy cooking. It is accessible cooking. Mm. It is very lacquer cooking <laughs> and with stuff that is in your house. I love that. Yeah. Well, I'm very much looking forward to not only diving into the recipes in this cookbook, but getting you in the kitchen as well. We've got your apron on standby and we've also got our darling guest chef, Sebastian Newman, who's going to teach us every single thing we need to know to get all those school lunch boxes ready this year. Sister, we're going to cook now. You ready for it? I'm ready for you. I love that. <laughs> Now, Miranda Sekoskas and Miranda Sekinderkombes are must-haves, and you could win yourself a copy of both books. If you want to try any of these recipes, all you need to do is answer this question. What recipe would you make using a science experiment? That's a tough one. Share your answers on the Afternoon Express Facebook page. T's and C's do apply and can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. This competition closes at 12 p.m. on Monday the 24th of January, 2022. Let's get in the kitchen. Let's get in the kitchen.